For the dry ingredients, I'm using two and a half cups of whole wheat flour, one fourth cup of organic cane sugar, a half teaspoon of sea salt, and four teaspoons of baking powder. I'm adding a half cup of coconut oil. You don't want it to be melted, you want it to be solid. Now I don't have a pastry cutter, so I'm just gonna use my spoon and my fingers to press it into the dough. Add one cup of almond milk or soy milk, any dairy-free milk of your choice. Now the dough is going to be sticky, so what I did was I added more flour at the top so it's easier to knit. Now add some flour so the dough doesn't stick. You can use a rolling pin or you can use a cup, that's what I'm using. I use the bottom of your cup to cut out little circles. Now here I'm repeating the same process until all the dough is used up. Now the biscuits taste great, the texture's great. The only thing I would do differently is I would find a way for it to rise better. They're not as fluffy as I wanted them to be. But other than that, they came out perfect. Now for our egg, we're going to drain the water out of a block of tofu. I've wrapped it in a paper towel and I squeezed the water out and you're going to put something heavy on it for 15 minutes. Now slice it down the middle. It's not even, I can see that, but you're going to slice it. I think you can slice it like four times. And then you're going to do the same thing with the biscuits and cut out little circles. I'm adding black pepper, black salt for that eggy, eggy taste, and some turmeric. I'm doing this for both sides. I just pan fry it on each side. Now next we're going to make our egg yolk. I boiled two carrots and two potatoes. I'm adding this to the blender now. My potatoes are a little crispy because I boiled them for too long, but that's fine. Add one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, one teaspoon of black salt. Black salt is um, a salt found in India and it has an eggy flavor to it. And I ordered, a, I ordered it off Amazon. Add one fourth cup of ground black pepper, and a half cup of nutritional yeast. Add one teaspoon of turmeric for color and one cup of water. And you can blend it all up.
for the meat, I'm using this Sweet Earth Stay Tan Bacon. This bacon is really good. It has a smoky taste to it. It has 61% less sodium, 69% less fat, and 45% fewer calories than regular bacon. I'm adding the egg yolks to the biscuits and being that the biscuits came out thin I'm just going to use two biscuits for the top and the bottom instead of slicing it like I normally would. Add more yolk at the top. And there you have it. Delicious vegan breakfast biscuits. These came out absolutely amazing. Please give, give these a try. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you next time. Bye.